The tarts, the oilers, baits, and hains with Richardson's and more have served and still serve. This explains the shipwreck brought to shore. The tart women of Dungeness and oilers in their prime would haul the lifeboat to the sea, replace Wood's time on time, and then they'd carry men aboard through adverse weather tide to keep them dry as they set out with rescue as their guide. The tarts, the oilers, as Bates and Haynes with Richardson's and more. That was the Tart Women of Dungeness, which is the second song on Lifeboat Rescues 4, out from the British Isles, which I wrote and sang. My name's Charlotte Peters Rock, hello. The songs on this particular CD were written between 2002 and 2020, with information gleaned from speaking to lifeboat crews and coast guards and from written and recorded history of the various lifeboat stations along the coast of the British Isles at that time. The 18 songs on this CD span from the days when the first moves were being made to equip dedicated rescue lifeboats and up to the present time. In small coastal villages, whole families and communities were usually involved in such rescues, Dungeness, for instance, needing the considerable help of women to launch and recover the lifeboat over its shingle for 150 years and more of its operation, only standing down from their heavy, cold, wet work in 1979, though they still continue working and aiding more generally. Other songs on this fourth CD also include Shipwrecks of the Channel Islands, whose rocky coastline is littered with wrecks. The sinking of that glorious ship, the Titanic, which brought a special kind of courage to Harold Lowe. The twice-rescued goose of Ami Reuni. Early rescues of the Crawford and Constance Coney Bear out of Falmouth. 1940 and the little boats of Operation Dynamo where ships and lifeboats and many other craft determinedly worked through bombs and blast, brought many thousands of British troops back from Dunkirk in one week of 1940. The shameful dismissal of coxswain Henry Buller Griggs. The heroic efforts of prudential coxswain Primrose Knight and crew out of Ramsgate. The Chelsea pensioner, which patrols along the Thames out of Chiswick. Lone lifeboatman Fergal Walsh, who hurled himself into the pounding waves of Ballycotton to rescue a, a young man. The Christmas Lifeboat, a generic song written about the year-round risks taken by lifeboat crews whose families wait patiently for their hopeful safe return. Cox and David McCaskill and the staunch crew of Loch Inver Lifeboat, edging their way northward to Cape Roth in a stormy night of December 2014. Ellen Glynn and Sarah Feeney, the two young women who floated away from Furbo Beach, Galway, in August 2020, and Irvin Oslandidno, whose information features in the final song. All of these people have a tale to tell, showing the love of humanity which goes into those rescues. Each CD in the Lifeboat Rescue series contains 18 songs, 72 in all. Lifeboat Rescues 4, out from the British Isles, 1, from North Wales, 2, from Wales, 3, the British Isles, generally. And there is another CD called The Peaceful Weavers of Peterloo, which I made and performed in 2019 for the 200th anniversary commemoration of the Manchester Massacre. Each of these CDs will cost £10, post-free, from my Etsy shop. The link is coming up now. A special offer on all four CDs in the Lifeboat Rescue series is for £35 post-free.